Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm redecorating my small spare bathroom. And as you can see, the current decor is a beach theme. You can't really tell from the video clips very well, but the walls are a very, very light blue, almost like a powder blue, which matches the blue color in the shower curtain. And my decor goal for this bathroom is a modern farmhouse. I'm gonna stick with a gray and black color scale, and I'll also be adding some wood elements as well. I'm gonna take everything out so I can start with a blank space. And the first thing I'm gonna do for this makeover is repaint all the walls. We actually had a really bad mildew problem on the ceiling in this bathroom. Not only was the ceiling painted with the wrong type of paint to begin with, but we mainly had a poor ventilation problem in here. The fan wasn't strong enough to get rid of the steam, and we also had an HVAC problem in this bathroom. So there wasn't really good airflow, but all of that has been fixed now and a new stronger fan has been installed. So all of those problems are finally behind us. So I did do research on how to properly get rid of mildew and mold on drywall. And prior to this video, I did clean the ceiling before painting it. So I just wanted to throw that out there, but I was left with some staining on the drywall. So I'm very eager to get this ceiling painted ASAP so it can look clean and normal again. For the walls, I went with a light gray and I actually had a can of paint left over from another project in the color Filtered Shade by Valspar, which was awesome because I didn't have to buy any and it was the exact color I was going for. So this is one of my favorite wall colors and even my master bath is painted in this, but once it dried, it looked a lot darker in here than anywhere else in my home. And it was making the bathroom look smaller than it was and I just was not loving it. I kept peeking into the bathroom throughout the day just to see if my mind would change and it didn't. And I know it doesn't seem to look dark at all on camera, but it just wasn't the right color that I wanted. So I decided to paint the bathroom again, but in the color Seashell Gray by Valspar. And I'm showing clips in between painting because I wanted y'all to hopefully see a difference, but this color is so much better and it's exactly what I wanted the bathroom to look like. So instead of spending money on a new light fixture, I decided to do a cheap DIY update instead and it turned out so awesome. First, I removed the shades and taped the areas that I didn't want to get paint on. And then I just simply painted over all the silver with a flat black spray paint. Thank you. 
Here's what it looks like now that it's dry, and I think it turned out really, really good. These are the glass shades that were originally on it, and to update these, I'm gonna replace them with these new ones that I got from Lowe's for around $5 each. And here's the finished look, and I think it turned out so great. This is such a cheap way to update a fixture. This DIY only cost me around $10, and now I have a brand new light. I also ended up spray painting the hand towel holder as well, just so I wouldn't have to buy a new one. Before starting this makeover, I got my husband to change out the faucet and this is what it looked like before. This is just your standard builder grade faucet. This is the new one that I got from Lowe's which has a more modern look and it also has a matte black finish which is going to match the rest of the bathroom. So I eventually want to paint the cabinet and get a new countertop, but I'm just not ready to do that at the moment. So to update the cabinet in the meantime, I'm going to replace all the knobs instead. And this is going to give the cabinet a whole new look. So my husband was so awesome and made me these floating shelves to hang above the toilet. I was actually looking around to buying some shelves, but they were either way too expensive or just not the right look I was going for. So I got my husband to make them for me instead and they were all made out of scrap wood we already had. And he didn't follow any kind of tutorial to make these. He just kind of did his own thing. So unfortunately, I don't have anyone to share. But luckily, there are a ton of floating shelf tutorials online if you want to know how to make these. And to stain these, I'm just using Midwax stain. First, I did a coat of driftwood and then went over it with Jacobean. The shower curtain rod and the curtain rings are both from Amazon, and I usually get my liners from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I just buy the cheaper ones because I like to replace them frequently or whenever they start getting dirty. And the shower curtain is from Target. And the last thing I'm gonna add to the bathroom today to finish the look is this rug I got from Target. And here's the finished look for the bathroom. Just in case you missed it or I didn't tell you where something came from, I left a very detailed list of everything from this makeover in the description box below. I really hope y'all enjoyed this small bathroom makeover and gave you some inspiration to make over your own bathroom. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.